to the entire Seasons community. Are you feeling festive? Well, you should be because I am gearing up for the Olsen Dinner Party New Year's Eve edition. Yes, goodbye 2020. Hello 2021. This is a special appetizer featured on our dinner party menu. It is my potato crepes with smoked salmon, sour cream, and chives. And I'm gonna get right to it, starting to grate my potato for these. Now, you would call them potato pancakes, but they're actually potato crepes. Super thin, but absolutely delicious. And this recipe was actually my mother's and grandmother's, and they would make it, and I would always feel it was a special occasion. So I've peeled two Yukon Gold potatoes, and I'm grating them on that funny fine tooth side of the bo box grater. You know the side you never use for anything? Well, this is what you're using it for today. All right, you can see that using this funny tooth part of the grater gives you a really fine potato pulp, and a lot of the juice, that starchy liquid, comes out of the potato. That's important to hold the potato crepes together. Now, the rest of the ingredients are super simple. The first thing I add is half a teaspoon of salt. And the potatoes will turn a darker color as they sit, but the salt does help prevent that a little bit. That way they won't go too dark. I also add just two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And if you wanted to, you could use rice flour to make a gluten-free version. I add two tablespoons of milk a single egg, and two tablespoons of melted butter. How easy is that? And you just give this a whisk to combine. So it almost does look like a regular crepe batter, but it's all about the potato. To make the potato crepes, you want to heat a nonstick skillet on medium-high heat. You really want to get some browning and cook those potatoes through. So what I do is I brush the pan with butter after it's had a minute to warm up. And this recipe makes four eight inch size potato crepes. So you can divide the batter accordingly. And I do find it takes a bit of spreading. So just work it right to the edges of your round pan. You want a nice thin layer. You can take your time with this, no need to rush. But what's great is you can make these ahead of time. You can even freeze them or just keep them in the fridge, but you do want to serve them warm, just like you would a regular crepe. Now, you can use a spatula to flip it over after it's cooked for about three to four minutes. Give it a good long cook on the first side to let it brown and set. That way, it'll flip more easily, and then you just cook it another 30 seconds to a minute. I could use a spatula, but am I gonna be daring? Oh, please, 2021, be a good year. Woo! It's gonna be a good year. All right, and you just keep making your crepes until all your batter has been used. If you're making your potato crepes ahead of time, then you can rewarm them in a 300 degree oven and they only take about 10 minutes to heat up. A little piece of foil on top just keeps them from drying out. So you wanna serve them warm, but they don't have to be hot, hot. And then the rest is super simple. So if you're planning a New Year's Eve dinner or you're celebrating with everyone in the Seasons community, I know you're going to enjoy this combination. So the potato crepe is topped with a few pieces of smoked salmon. Now when I was growing up and my mom would make these, we would just serve them with sour cream, with a side of sour cream, just because that is my favorite condiment. And I haven't forgotten the sour cream. A dollop of that. A sprinkling of fresh chives. And if you want, even a little piece of lemon on the side. Simple, elegant, and delicious. What a way to greet the new year. Hello, 2021. 
Cheers to everyone in the Seasons community. I truly wish you a Happy New Year.